Ray also has a charge Y move. Um, of course, I mean, they're all going to. Yeah. Um, this is a good transformation animation. Yeah, they, they spend some time on that. The next the next game that's very similar to this one has a really nice, like, a nicely done... Oh, it's a crow, that's weird. Huh. Wait, what's a crow? Oh, is that like her? Yeah. Did she have a crow that hung she, out at... Yeah, she uh, did, but like... Weird. So I guess maybe I know I think it's Luna for Jupiter. So maybe it's Loop it's Luna for Jupiter and and Moon and Mercury, but Mars and Venus have their special things. It's a nice detail. Like thanks for that, but <laughs> it'd be funny if it if it's zooming around on Mercury's and it's her computer book. Dang, she's not attacking. That would be super cool. She's too cool to attack. What? Yeah. Why is the attack button not? Oh, maybe this it is reset normal my mode. controls. You don't have attack. No, it reset my controls that I oh, that I had set right. in the actual in-game preferences. That's why. I guess kicking. Her kicks are pretty. Cool. Yeah, kicks are, are so pretty. She got some nice variation there. What's her dumb fire beam look like? Uh, we'll find out shortly. Anyway, when I sort of. When I, like, got back into Sailor Moon when I was older, I got really into Sailor Pluto because... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, you tried, you tried what? to date her. What is it? What am I... Because she I was, was so, fine. like, quiet and alone and responsible, which is the stupidest <laughs> reason to get into a character. Sailor Mom. Exactly. She was like the mom. She was a surrogate mom for Chibi Moon, even. And just... I don't know. I admire that. Because Chibi Mom was 14. Yeah, that... Yeah, that's... Uh, um... But... Oh, that was... I shouldn't have wasted that. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, it was... It was also because, like, I was a teenager, and I was sort of at a point where I was taking on a lot of extracurriculars at school like too many mm -hmm. and I had like a lot of hobbies and I was doing a lot of stuff and I didn't really know how to say no to a new project right. so, so, with so I, I was always doing all this shit and it was really really stressful so I admiring a character that nice that just kind of had all this shit on her plate and just kind of dealt with it was oh was that was dope yeah was was anime good. shit right there yeah Oh my god, that was- I just got to the thing you were talking about. That was great. I was talking about something else. <laughs> but so in your mind, you were like, if Sailor Pluto can do this, then I can. I was, well, not that cheesily, but oh shit, there's something there. Whoops. <laughs> no, I think that was an exact thought that you had at least once. <laughs> but it was just, you know, it was- it was like... I don't know. I thought it was more the opposite, which was like, I do so much stuff, I do way more than any of these Sailor Scouts. Sailor yeah. Pluto does alright, I guess, so I'll, I'll like her. Great. Uh, no, it was, I don't know, it was, it was really stupid looking back on it, but that was just sort of, just sort of where it was. I stupid looking back on it. We all have fictional characters that we identify with. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the reasons that I identified with Sailor Moon were stupid at the time. Like, That's what it, well, yeah. the reasons that I identified with Sailor Moon were the reasons that I liked all the Disney princesses, because they were the princess. Right. You're supposed to like the princess. Literally. You're supposed to like the princess. Sailor Moon is the princess. What's the problem? And then, and then eventually I was like, okay, so she's bad at school, and she's really whiny, and she's just fucking complaining all the time, and she's not really great at doing things in general. What is there to admire here? Other See, than, like, heavy is she the head stuff. that wears the moon crown. That's the saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically. I don't know it in French or whatever, so, but... How do you say moon crown in French? I don't know. I probably just say moon crown with an accent. <laughs> fucking you bad little fucking god. So I found a thread on my anime list. There it is. I'm excited. Uh, and the subject oh, is a first Sundere ever? Uh, it's a post by a user named Art Rodriguez. And he asks, can anyone dig deep, deep within their anime mindsets and think of the first example of a Sundari? The closest thing to the Sundari that I can come up with is Chi-Chi from Dragon Ball. I'd say she's the mother of Sundari as Koji Kabuto is too badass. And uh, the very first response is probably Misty of Pokemon. No, that's time. That's not how time works. 
probably <laughs> missed the Pokemon. Maybe he understood first to mean like best. Like, what's the number one? Who, who is the first lady of Sundari? Of Sundari. It's still not Misty. Sorry, it's still not. <laughs> uh, new type lady in chat, you haven't really missed all that much. No, we, we Don't worry about it. 20 minutes or something. Um... Oh man, that soda gave you health. That's not how soda works. No. I mean, it's Japanese soda. It's probably got like. Oh, okay. You have to be careful with Japanese soda, y'all. Um, there's a soda in Japan called Cola Up that looks like just a regular, you know, like Coca Cola style soda drink. And it's in a can, so you can't actually look at it. And then you open it and you put drink it into your mouth, and it's got like globules oh, of cola flavored gelatin jelly, in yeah, the carbonated yeah, soda. That's a thing. That's, yeah, that's, uh, wow. And uh, apparently anything that has up in the title is like that, so you have to watch out if you're ever in Japan. There's also a thing called, I want to say, grass jelly drink that you can get that's, I think it's actually Chinese, um, and it's very similar, and it's kind of, it tastes like flat root beer with chunks in it. What is up with people enjoying chunks of stuff and things? Like just in general. I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I like I like those tapioca pearls you get in bubble tea. Yeah, those are super different. Those are those it's are delicious. A, it's the same I actually thing. was a barista <laughs> at a bubble tea house for Oh man. Uh, I think like six months. Um, and then they fired you me... for drinking all the bubble tea or what like what yeah. happened there? No, it was it was a startup and this we had to just downsize because it just wasn't a failing business. But uh, let me tell that... you, tapioca pearls at most places that you get one, they're using instant tapioca pearls, which only take about half an hour to make, and those aren't the good ones. The real ones take 45 minutes to an hour, and they're a bitch to clean up after, but they're so much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this guy has so much health. This is not going to go well. Yeah, you haven't really done yeah, any... Use your, use your crazy... I can't, it takes so long to charge it up charge, that yeah. he's, all, he's, like, you know, he's on my ass by then. Right. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't know about, about, I get the wanting to drink stuff with chunks in it, even if that's not a thing I do besides bubble tea, like, I, or I guess, yeah, someone brought up, who brought up pulpy orange juice, Dr. Derp, I don't like super, super pulpy, but I also, I like a little bit of pulp with my orange juice, like, I, I, it's a, I like that extra texture. Ah, oh, he dodged it, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, he keeps doing that, every time I charge it, he just jumps. See, fucking. Oh, lame. Cat. Normal the situation, normal bitch. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't have it charged at that time. It's fine. Oh, I'm cornered. This is bad. You can do it. I believe in you. That's misguided. <laughs> The range of her, sometimes her kicks just don't land on him. Period. Even the range is right, even though it looks like they should. Yeah, because oh, he doesn't guys, even react. Apparently, Tommy Co made a Sundere portable television. What? That doesn't even make any sense. It just doesn't Boy turn on when you. Tommy Co <laughs> has come up with off. the world's first Sundere portable television set, which gives audio guidance with a harsh voice that gradually becomes kinder as the user gets used to the set. Oh God. Why would I want that? <laughs> why do I want my appliances to hate me? Like, what? Do you mean, why do you want it right now? Because you do want it. He has more range than I do. That's not fair. I have, listen, he's a cat. He's a cat. He doesn't have much in his life. Let him have this range. Is this the cat that was in love with Luna? Yeah, suck it. I think that the cat, there was like, Luke, the big blue cat had a crush on Luna, and he had a rainbow heart crystal in him. Oh, man. And they took the rainbow I heart crystal out, and he turned it into nice. a monster. Man, Ray is super pleased with herself. For also, she's Sailor Batman. Mars, not Sailor Raya. So I was Sailor Venus, Sailor Matilda. You got a bond. Yeah, I got Matilda. a bond. I thought, I thought Matilda was just her own. Did it say Sailor it Matilda? It said Sailor right Matilda. There? Weird. It straight up said Sailor Matilda. Yeah, Pixel Kaiser uh, uh, brings up an interesting thing. You know that how they have made cafes in yeah. Japan? They've got some dairy cafes. Where the point is that the waitresses are really mean to you. Well, that's like the I want, there I... are, you know, like hot dog places and and stuff uh, in the states where the whole point is like the staff is like yells at people and is mean and 
It's kind of like... What the fuck are that, you talking about? You don't know about those? Or like, no! no! That's totally a thing. It's totally a thing. It's a different thing, right? Because right. the Sunari Cafe would be... You know, you're... you're, you're um, there's there's something uh, attractive. I don't want to use words like like fetishistic, but like... No, uh, that's definitely that. what it is. It is, but I don't want to make that... I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very careful dude with claims like that. Um, whereas I think there is something that's positioned as charming or like authentic about the demeaning American style most of the time black ladies yelling at you like they're like they're like black kitchen workers who this is the one space that they have any authority so now they're they're bitchy like that's a whole it's a whole thing it's really I'm sure there's some really interesting papers about it I keep forgetting what the This this Wikipedia page for Sundari is a deep, deep well, you guys. I'm, I need help. I'm gonna get pulled into this. Shit. Okay, I can just keep continuing. It's a video game, that's good. I don't know, you never know what the rules of these things are sometimes. Sometimes they're just gonna fucking game over you and sometimes I don't care. Console games with limited continues were kind of horseshit. That's stupid. Like, you're not... You already have my money. I'm not putting quarters into my Famicom fucking... God. <laughs> I kind of wish they let you change characters between stages. I know why they don't, because that's not... Why Why would you, but... No, because it's cool. I'd be down with that. That'd be... That would Fuck. be... I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense in a game like this. Or a game about a show like this, where different episodes have different focal points, mm -hmm. you know? That'd be cool. <laughs> sure. Janine, and I like that your your technique there God was damn. to stand kicking in the same place <laughs> until someone walked into your <laughs> I don't have technique. much patience for that shit. Ah, oh, this fucking clown lady is driving me crazy. Wait, come on. I don't know why sometimes things just don't happen the way they should. In life. In life, yeah. <laughs> there we go. See, these are important lessons that we can glean from. Uh, be sure to said she, Sailor Moon. Get on screen, goddamn you. That's the most annoying universal thing about beat em up games. It's when you kick someone off the screen and they take their sweet ass time to yeah. saunter back on so you can get the one hit you need. Totally. Speaking of beat em up games, the D and D, um, the D and D beat em ups just went on sale today. I'm they super did. excited to get those. Uh, uh, I feel kind of ripped off because Japan is getting a retail Blu-ray release that is like supposed to be way better and no more feature film than the American version. Yes. Get fucked. Yeah, like the Japanese Shame. version has a, a tool that lets you paint the palettes yourself. Oh, that's and, amazing! Uh, you can use that's multiple characters, multiple versions of the same character at the same time, and uh, it's supposed to be way better. And uh, Neo Gaff was saying that that version of the game was built by an internal Capcom team of people that have played, or people that have been involved in the production of the originals, and the wow. uh, Western version is Iron Galaxy. Who is not a bad developer by any stretch, but right, you know, right, right. But yeah, it's not that cool. That's frustrating. The um, that just also talking about the, the color palette thing just made me remember other stuff that like basically I could have written a million pages about my childhood coming to terms with race in games because like Street, one of the Street Fighter Alpha games gave you a palette um, editor and mm -hmm. I totally fucked around with that a lot when I was a kid and. I remember thinking for a long time when I was, you know, 13, my dream game was a Dragon Ball Z game where you could create your own <laughs> character. Um, and, like, I had it all written out and, like, planned out and, like, how it would work and what the fight, what, like, the, the combat systems would be like. And you Can know. you elaborate on this? Okay, so, <laughs> I can. Oh, god, I should probably play, let's play 20 years of DBZ games. No, I'm not I will do that with you, so <laughs> Um, so there was a really good DBZ game uh, that was for the PS1 and the Saturn called Dragon Ball Z Legends um, that I think was the only game I ever played in any any Dragon Ball Z any of the Dragon Ball Z games that uh, came close to approximating 
uh, those two words mean the same thing. Uh, the actual speed and style of the way combat was depicted in Dragon Ball Z games because there was no there were there were health bars, but punching and kicking didn't ever move them. You never got hurt when you punched or slammed into the ground. Um, instead, there was a, a kind of almost like a wrestling game style momentum meter that got built depending on how long your combo chains were. And if you built a really good long combo chain, you could then do a super move like a Kamehameha or a Spirit Bomb or whatever. Um, and the way the the way the story uh, played out, it was like there were multiple <laughs> characters who you could trade in and out, and like with a tag team thing, and it was the best. It was so good. Uh, and so my dream game was to was to take that system um, and then have both the story scenes edited so that you could have stuff happening. Like you could like decide when characters would become their next level of Super Saiyan, whatever. And also you could take different basic building blocks of the character of the you know the, the Kira Toriyama character designs and just like Lego them together because even so my like, last... I, I want these Yamcha arms but I right. want some Gohan hair right exactly because like 13 of Austin even then knew looked at those designs and was like you yeah, know he's doing this this is what he is doing he is taking his <laughs> catalog of parts and dart boarding them together you know um so <laughs> I want you to know what I'm doing with this fucking thing right now. No, I'm watching it and it's fantastic. Uh, it's great. Uh, my favorite thing is the way Ray is crossing her oh, arms shit. after every shot. Like, all right, great. God damn. This is she's staring back at what? you and being like, "Really, Janine? Really?" Yeah. Judgy. That's why you didn't like her to begin with. Uh, I like how you was spelled exactly how you think it would be spelled in French. I fucking hate this guy so much. I never get as close as I need to get to fucking kick him in the face and just... No, Janine, I think this is a really good video game, it looks like. This looks great. You just need to block oh low. Damn, I can't block. That might be your first issue. Yeah, you go should back, jump. Go back to the fireball system. You can also do a jump and like a down kick. There's a way to do that. You dive kick. You gotta dive kick. Him. Wait, I'm holding attack. Why aren't you? Look, that's not cool, man. God damn it. Oh wow. <sighs> Fuck. It takes so long to charge that attack. Come on. Ah, oh, he's immune when he's doing his thing too. The worst. There. Fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> this oh, hollow victory. That's oh, wait, I don't go down. I went down before. I had to like wander down. This time it's just over. Huh. Normal, man. Maybe that's the. Maybe on easier is like, well, they need more. Dude. This is the Just dark let me play the whole of game, Sailor Moon like, what? <laughs> this is where Beso Sojo's Senshi Sailor Moon really begins. <laughs> what is she holding up when she does that? She has, like, fortunes, little slips yeah. of paper things. Oh, I see. Like, they have a name, and I don't remember what it is, and I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't remember what it is. Yeah. Oh man, what are those called? Fuda. Is that right? A Fuda, yeah. yeah. I think a flan that big would probably have to smell not great after a while. I, I, I think it's just for sure. It's just it's made of styrofoam and mayonnaise, like... <laughs> what, a, what a rip. Sailor Venus's little shimmy dance. Why are you such a bitch? <laughs> God. So. <laughs> Look at that texturing on that cake frosting. That's pretty good. Well, God damn. I, I could eat some cake. I'm not a cake guy normally, but I think I could eat some cake. Look at how continuous belt. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, Look what? at that Is rare there, candy, what? you can evolve. What? <laughs> Sarah, new type lady in the chat said, uh, or Dr. Derp said, I want to see a gritty Sailor Moon reboot. A new type lady responded, it's coming out in October. Is it? Is yeah, that a thing that's it, happening? It's not, I don't know if it's a gritty reboot, but they're doing a new. Is it called The Sailor Moon? I, th <laughs> I, I think it's just called Sailor Moon. I don't know. Is it was it supposed Columbus? to come out this there, summer, is but it they Sailor pushed it back. underscore Moon? No. <laughs> With a dollar sign for the ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about that new anime, though. I haven't I seen one yet. I, I have mixed feelings. I just hope it's not like when they made that new Rama 1 half OAV and it was very good. Or OVA, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Did you see that? Did you watch that? Are you into Rama? Not really. My no, dad tried to get not. me into it. Um, You're what? My dad tried to get me into it when I was oh, like yeah. little because he thought having a daughter who was into Japanese anime and things was cool because it was the mid 90s and it was still kind of weird. And he's um, a cool dude who like is into weird stuff. And... Yeah, he always wanted me to be into weird things. Yeah. Like he he introduced me to Japanese pop music for that reason. Um, it was too bad that didn't work out for him. Yeah. <laughs> Tony you turned uh, out completely normal. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a shame. Fuck this thing so much. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. He's like E Honda with a Mega Man slide. Ugh, that's the worst. Okay, now look at how they fucking. There we go. Fuck that guy. Oh, now I'm going down. Oh yeah, that's weird. Going down Cake no Street. E. Oh, that missed both of them. That's. <sighs> Janine, you don't really sound like you're enjoying this game a whole lot. Well, actually, I I don't hate it. I'm just largely indifferent to what's happening. This is just how she sounds when she plays games. That's yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, we were talking about Star Trek a lot lately, and we uh, <laughs> to play Star Trek Online. And I've mm -hmm. known Janine now for like. 11, 12 years, um, but I'd never in my life heard her swear the way she swore when winning in Star Trek Online. Like, I, I don't want to. Can you really stuff. win playing Star Trek Online? That game was good. I, listen, yeah. I'm, an, I'm. I think that game is, is is maybe not underrated, but I think underappreciated. Um, I think you know there are definitely problems with it. Uh, it doesn't capture a lot of what makes Star Trek rad. Uh, but the ship combat stuff was, especially when playing with, with somebody else, was really rewarding. Uh, and unlike other stuff in other MMOs, um, and also made Janine like a sailor, vulgar like a sailor. <laughs> I don't want to repeat the things she said. I want to be employed again one day, and this is recorded. Um, so, and again, like while blowing ships up, you know, like success cursing. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of this is stuff that I wouldn't even say now. You're getting better at dealing with Clown E Honda. I think they got weaker. I think I think the first Clown E Honda was like a sub boss. Right, and now they're just like a. This lady might cause some problems, but. She's spitting out cream puffs. What are those? I don't know what her deal is. Her you head comes off in the puffs. anime. Her head comes off. It's really creepy. She's like a weird doll lady. Come on. I hate her teleporting, it's really... Oh, that, that thing is totally using your life. Yeah, it is. It is. I said that earlier, but... So you shouldn't be doing that. But sometimes it's really good. Oh, she's killing me. Yeah, I, I would save it for when you're surrounded. That way it hits multiple people at least. Yeah. Um, that used to bug me a lot when I was a kid. Um, that thing, the thing where like my special attack cost health Whoops. Uh, in, in beat em ups. And then also whenever a boss could do a thing. Like I understood why bosses would have moves I couldn't have, but I hated it when the rules that apply to player didn't apply to the boss, like when we weren't stun-locked in the same way, when they could like break out of a combo in a way a player never could. Um, 
And like my favorite fights were always the ones that felt like I was fighting another player character. Like I think a lot of people have talked about. Have you played Streets of Rage 2, uh, Jordan? Uh, I'm sure at some point. There's like the second to last boss in that game. It looks and and like acts just like another player character. And that fight. Oh, that's cool. Like when I was going in, like the sun is setting in the background. You're on like a you're in like a penthouse suite. It's great. Um, <laughs> Listen, I can talk about beat em ups a lot. Is the thing. Yes, the fight with Shiva, Dr. Derp, exactly. So you got Mo. 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 Moyen. Moyen? What is Moyen? Oh. I thought it was like Moe. That's like the Secret French. Factory. Moe, Usine okay. Secret. You remember oh, so the Secret is, wait, Factory? Is this a new, this is a this new is, level this then? This is new, yeah, because we're past. Oh, man. It. I'm going to save. Uh, just in case. Okay. I hope we don't have to. I hope they don't give me this level and then they're like, okay, play it on hard. <laughs> this is music just straight up from the anime, I think. I'm gonna listen or, to it. Or maybe they've used it. Yeah, I'm totally gonna turn it up. They might have used it in other games. I turned it up for a half second and I thought it was a Dr. Dre song. Man, 100% of these songs have just the fattest bass. <laughs> right? This is what I'm talking about. Like, I wasn't kidding when I said I thought it sounded like Dr. Dre. Like, he would sample this and make it into some shit. You don't know. Mm hmm. That's just, just a really helpful, him. useful conveyor belt on the floor that serves many purposes and can uh, Maybe make it Sometimes faster. you gotta move a box two feet, okay? Just. They're very heavy boxes. Wait, these yes. ones don't even make any sense. <laughs> yeah, what is that? You're just gonna move them in. You know, <laughs> we're just gonna move it in. Great. Move it in and move it out. I kind of like this music. It's pretty good. But again, this is just this is just straight up taken from things. We need to invent a better group. Streamcasting solution than Dude, a I Skype know. call with us watching. <sighs> I don't think there is one, say. man. Like this is this is the way it's done. Yeah. Unless it, you're like I, in the yeah, same yeah, room as people. people. Like the only time you get it differently is when like with run button, they're in the same room. Yeah. People. Right. Um, this is so it. You guys need to move to Austin. Yeah, I'll get rid of. Technically, I mean, there's two of us in Ontario and one of you yeah, in Texas. You guys so, fuck, well, this. fuck, fuck. <laughs> you guys oh, you're getting this. hit with a clown hammer. Yeah, it's not going so well. No, but Austin is the Canada of Texas. <laughs> I don't believe that. No, that's completely true. <laughs> Texas, I think are, that's probably, yeah. We are super progressive. Uh, yeah. We have socialized health care. Um, what the hell is that? I, I guess a better movie like a doll though. person. If I recall correctly, oh, their limbs are hollow that? and really sharp. And they threw and it threw the limbs to like cut people. And there's a lot of messed up stuff in Sailor Moon. Yeah. Well, you know. Bubble was bursting. Japan was a little rough. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. I was gonna type it, but Dr. Derp, I was talking about Streets of Rage 2. When I was young, I played Skate because he was a young black kid who had rollerblades. Like totally, again, like this is stuff I could totally have written about it in that piece. Um, you should write a whole book, dude. No, yeah, I'm gonna, but not about this shit. Like that's the weird thing about this that I, I was tweeting um, Jen Frank about a little bit earlier ago is this is super not my field, and so there's a, uh. there's, a there's a weird. There's a, a weird um, ambivalence about the way people have... I, I'm thrilled people have responded to it positively. I'm thrilled that I've had people talk about how their experiences have been similar and that, and that I've you know, captured some part of, of something. This is the worst. This is terrible. <laughs> you're just saying that because you're stuck on two different treadmills uh, surrounded by monsters. I don't know what you're talking Look, about. sometimes you need to make a series of boxes go in a square indefinitely. Um, that's, that's I can just hold through. a guy and slap him, that's cool. Right. I think this whole place might be an installation art piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so man I played a skate. Man to man. 
Exactly. Uh, but then I actually stopped playing as Skate and started playing as Axel because he was the main character. The same reason Janine wanted to be Sailor Moon. Like, oh, he's he's like the action hero dude. He's like the white dude with blonde hair who does cool uppercuts. And I also played him wrong for basically 10 years of my life. <laughs> like, he is, in Streets of Rage 2, every character has two special moves. There's one that you just get when you press the special move button. Um, and that does like the what Ray does with the papers, right? With the... Um, well, whatever those are called that you just the yeah, fuda uh, the fuda right uh, and it takes away health but hits all the enemies around you and there's another version of it in Streets of Rage where it's just like you press forward in the special attack button and you do like a, a cool one person combo like high damage thing and I never used it until I was like 20 and I realized I've been playing this game wrong basically my whole life <laughs> you're never uh, gonna get those years back either I know it's over it's done Pignock says Austin Walker is the Austin of Ontario. I think that's true. 